game, darn it. Way too distracted. A little bit later than I want it to be, but we're here. That's all that matters. I was planning on starting at 8 again, but then I honestly didn't, wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to stream today. Because I had to help my friend wash her kitten because he has fleas. <laughs> but that took less time than I thought it was because we got out early this today. We've been getting out, we've been only having eight and a half hour days this week, so I might actually be able to stream all week, that's what I'm going to try doing. Yesterday I was going to stream, but my internet was down, so we're back now. That's what matters. Doing all right. How about you, C. Sedman? October 18th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. So we've been in courtroom number two, courtroom number one, and now we're in courtroom four. Wait, did we not do any investigating? investigating. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. <clears throat> Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show that it, the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed his fellow... Please don't tell me I somehow didn't say last night. Or the night before last. Uh... It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will at all point to this fact. I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call- Shoot. What the hell happened to my save?
Seriously? Uh, looks like somehow our save didn't happen last night, so we're just gonna try getting through this real quick. This sucks. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with some with the guide map here. This is so dumb. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio. See, this here is the employee area. The actors did run through their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. Security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. that day. Past the security station, is there is a gate. See? That's that of the studios. And here it is. Studio 1. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now on that day of the, of the murder, now on that day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. Victim Jack Hammer, the defendant Will Powers, and young woman, the production assistant. All the production and the staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to the Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of the death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai Spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Mm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Are you seriously scratching my chest? Knock it off. Sucks, your honor. This case will, is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady in the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Uh... Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be, you to be embarrassed. You may you just call me Grandpa. Uh, your name, please. Saint Fetchworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. Just call me Grandma, precisely. Da 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 da. Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I... Sir, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have had to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. Mm. You may begin your testimony. He sure is one hell of an old bag. Count. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since this morning. I, well, I had some errands to run in the morning. Anyway, as I was there at 1 and I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30, right? Instead of interesting to me because I certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, the man right there and and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor? Up until that time, anyone who wanted to go 
the two could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard there at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, Yuri. The employee card key to get in. Right, the card key that I have. What she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone to do this when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old hammer and the rest of the stuff. A run through? They were working on a scene between the steel samurai and this evil magistrate. They got some of the basics figured out by noon and were used to the. To use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to be start at five. That's why Polar Old Hammer went to the studio one in the afternoon. Powers was in his dressing room room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about laid back hero. If there was a run through in the morning, why did you only get there in the afternoon? I had some errands. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question! Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know, observing! Aren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always! Never miss one in all my years! Wow. I wanna see a still samurai run-through, too. He'd quit being a spirit medium and take up a guard duty. What a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor, poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. That's what happened next. Main gate until five. So you were watching the... There the whole time, no breaks, not even a second. Of course, I'm a professional, you know. Are you criticizing the way I, how I do my job, a sapper? No, it's just as after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat the donuts at the same time, snipper whapper. Snipper whapper. Old windbag sure is losing it, Nick. Why don't, or why don't you raise an objection? Though so the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? How did you know that? Oh, I have my ways. The overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. And if you ask me, the detective isn't cut for his job. Or Detective Gumshoe is getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by 3 p.m. Do you, you're sure. You're a spit? Well, who was the man? Really, you should not, try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Uh, now, now, don't get your skivvies in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man standing right there. Da -da -da -da. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Get your rocks out of here, Sonny. Nick, this, uh, this is your chance. Yeah, I'll have to pull this uh, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. Vent. Vent. Let me get this straight, old bag or missile bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Fright. Let me see that photo. Uh, what is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, didn't you? Your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! <laughs> um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one is in the court is accusing you of that, Miss, er, uh, witness. 
She's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do have proof that the person in the photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Oh! Even as you were the surprise. Prosecution would like to ask old... The old... The witness. Please make known all of the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone would be so noisy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't a good as... Or any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Yeah. Oh, with wind back left even edge, we're speechless. She's good. Let's hear about her proof then. Photo. I never said anything. I er I don't mean, mind you. The er that morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his uh, the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? So, her, hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Got to be hiding something. I'll press it. Well, she squeals. Photo. Never say anything I don't mean, mind you. Um, River Snapper. Hey, I haven't even said anything yet. I'll have you know that I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is um, straight and narrow. Mr. Wright, please, for all of our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth is in his match. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene... Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai, the poor old Hammer, the evil Magistrate, and... Me! And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving the backdrops around and such. Though she didn't see the run-through. I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of those props. A big mess, apparently. Here. Broke a prop. Sure did! His own si samurai spear. His samurai spear. The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. It had better write it. Court record. Samurai spear updated. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Press. Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained. Not so bad he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room and rests up right after lunch. Thus, the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough, haven't you? We, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me, which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Um, actually, well, I couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Anyways, it's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. It's clear that the person in the Seal Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Sure you... Are you up? Sure, Your Honor? Action! Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Seal Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove it, that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue our testimony, please? No need to ask twice! This account continued. The time before Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., right? The only person I saw go into the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. 
So if no one else went into the studio, then it would have been the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you make her else examine in the witness. Don't continue. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective, and then after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoes shares his fellow officers donuts. The person that saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking pass by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking right. No one else went in. I went there. What about before you got on the guard's station? You mean before one? Everyone was at the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has already answered the question. Anyone going into the studio has to pass the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, eh, G-Boy? Uh, G-Boy? Uh, old Wind Baxter has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have... Or, old Windbags have a way of skipping all of her all... Or, important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. For you to look forward to, perhaps? photograph one more time. The photo was taken by the camera at the gate studios, correct? Yes, sirree, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyway. It's also true that the commuter in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very camera or computer printed this out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that means that the photo was taken at 2 p.m., October 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this be photo number one if it's really the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, what? that's what I want to ask the witness. The evidence shows that not one but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data of the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh? <laughs> Watch your mouth, for sapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem, I don't understand newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Uh, believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too. Mm. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag. Ah, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than Steel Samurai. Er, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. Sorry, we're kind of jumping as fast as I can through this without just skipping it immediately. Or completely, just in case anybody who's watching hasn't seen last episode. 
Ah, oh, I see. Your testimony, please. I literally just played through this episode, or this part of the episode yesterday, or two days ago. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security the computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin your the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Person. Another job. Now that's right. I'll check all the people that passed in the main, by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos the security camera takes. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes, but those computers are just so frustrating. There aren't any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? You can tell by the looking at their faces for that most part. Most part. This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking little powers photo now, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in the photo that you erased? A fanboy. Fanboy? Still samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get the information about rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging up. One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could have got a get in? I locked the gate, so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grade has been loose for a while. He's outside and, well, that's how it, they come in. They come in through the drain. I told you they were freaks! Oh, and... and... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What?! Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate that on their way to the studios that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg, and the other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume that it would be hard for, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think it's quite heavy. Right! As I said, I didn't pay mu him much at mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, that boy it was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want to, the defense and the prosecution to consider the new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18th, 1108 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers. Oh, yes. Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So, who was the, the Steel Samurai, the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off on a corner in the dressing room. Anyone could have seen, walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better, better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone who would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <sighs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. Start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! 
and it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose up on that spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does this or that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <sighs> The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Pow Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thought on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years old of age. The photo we do not ha or do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no uh, that could have committed this crime, or no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a guilty ver a verdict of guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear what you have, or who you have in mind. However, be aware that the court does not look kindly on the Accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who is the other, or this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Security lady. It was the security lady. Wendy Oldbag. Who? The seal samurai was is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the mor that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. Only person in other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady. Old bag. What? Whipper snapper! Order! Order! Is this true with or old bag? Old bag! That's Miss Old Bag to you. This old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume and slipped into Studio One at the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she could, if it was in his costume, she could point the figure at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock's Holmes number two, baby. Hmm. God. That's the part where Edgeworth pounces. There's an unusual jump up with an ejection and some new danging evidence. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the pro prosecution have a, an opinion on this matter? Prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? The, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, you all think I did it. Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something. I move. Maybe now's my chance to th take this holding away. Press her. The very same reasoning for me that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast a, a doubt on this old bag's actions that day. But what? Why would I do something to poor, oh, so horrible to poor Mr. Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Power lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. I did it. I went back as one of the suspects. Our feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I raised. He is only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? But that doesn't matter. When I was his age, I could have pinned my old man in 10 second stops. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? The boy is not the killer. What? How could you be so sure? Oh, or is it nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed. So then, let's see the proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Why, yes. Hard key. Take that! The scene of the murder, as we all know, is Studio One. However, you need a car key, a card key to enter studio. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Urf. Lindback, speechless. 
This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find more about or find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. What was her name? Something old bag, your own. Prosecution will look in further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Wait a second. I'm not ju going to yeah, just sit here or while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Uh, 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 oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This old bag. What is all this about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to, to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio. It was on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag. This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. I'm witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Shut up! So you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be so too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. <laughs> Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director. We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of the action scene without a director? Of course. Very well. Or yes, well. I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were the other pe these uh, or these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2. It was Studio 2? If you look at the guide map. Here it is. You go through that gate all and all the way to the left. The, where the monkey's head it was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue your cross examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but there actually isn't anything else. We're just gonna them. Yes, or Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that it... That it, or I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Ugh. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all the court is adjourned. October 18th, 104 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. But thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right as er, right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really, it's nothing. <laughs> or should I? We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out about the director and the producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. Realizing that I'm off center. Oh, that's worse. There we 
go. So Nick, have we figured out just who was in the that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been the been old windbag? What do you think, Miss Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take it, the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old Wittenbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't whining or winning any points in there with, or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Alright, now let's make sure this actually saves. Did I accidentally press no or something? Are you kidding me? Why didn't it go to this freaking save? Into this save. That's what screwed me up. This is where we were. Whatever. October 18th, Brighton Co. Law Offices. Ooh, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick! Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and the producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's go to- or let's get to the studios. Got just about another hour. October 18th, 2.16 p.m., Global Studios, Main Gate. No one's here. Right now they could have, or that they have Miss Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have any else to replace her. Hey! Look in the guard, er, in the guard station. Look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Leader that runs the studio security cameras, huh? Like it's been turned off for the day. A nerve. Security guard station. My old bag. Like junk food. There's a mountain of it in her desk there. Overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. Oh. Studio van. They probably use it to get. Eighteenth Studio One Entrance. Hey Nick, it looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. Probably up to his neck in paperwork after the motion of today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio Two we heard about uh, the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. How's our chance, Nick? Let's check it out. Trial was said Studio 2 was down this path. Monkey had in the way, but we should be able to get by it without a problem. Monkey head is really heavy. Well, it did knock that tree off over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, fell that day of the murder, didn't they? Yeah, that's what the good Detective Gumshoe said. To do a mascot, apparently it's a monkey of some kind. Hey, 
And you'd probably need a crane to move something. Probably. Bush, maybe I'll just sit down for a bit. Not exactly why I... This is exactly why I don't want to get old, ever. Hey! I'm still young, I'm just tired. Nick, when you're, you start having to say, I'm still young, you know it's all over. But I am still young! A security camera that it automatically takes pictures of the people here. It took pictures. The two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One was still samurai, the other was grade school. Doesn't seem to switch on. Video one this project they found it. Cameras odd. Alright. Go. Over 18th Studio 2 entrance. Is this Studio 2? I thought so. Doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. Looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This must all, or might as well be a junkyard. Closer inspection. This trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some temporary film set. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're talking. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. The fence looks dangerous. Nick, let's go inside. I think it's okay. Oh well, it's locked. Aw, shucks. Like two people who ate here, there's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T bone steaks too. What is with you and steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. Already covered in soot. Must put not clean it. Light van for moving staff and equipment around. They kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd be run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick! I don't have a driver's license. But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? The big two painted here. Probably because it's Studio 2? Probably, though it doesn't look anything like a studio. October 18th, Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Look, a ladder! That's uh, a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging. It's based on narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry, this girl's out there. Outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found with, or still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why they had. Part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected the spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must absorb most. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards that they clap. Start 
filming. Oh, and look, a megaphone. A real life megaphone. Uh, ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. By reflecting light, they call it a reflecting screen or something like that. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I want to be a director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. Wow, look at the camera. It must cost a ton. Yeah, so you shouldn't touch it. Hey, smile, Nick, you're a star. Stop that. Apparently they've already. Looks like a backdrop for the stage. This must be using the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain Neo Fujiyama. The Steel Samurai take place in Old Tokyo, can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Neo. Neo Old Tokyo. Area. Over 18th Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hey, WV's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. No, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true that they caught the security lady? Oh, oh. <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up the terrain. You mean that one? Oh, what a mess. I, I know, I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Gotcha! I was wondering. I'm not so good with handiwork. Assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than when I er, than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. Right. See you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So, the fanboy they were talking about the trial today, he came in through the drain? Or that drain? So, it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick! If the drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that's was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip it off the gate? Really, Nick? Can we? Or can we can? Well, oh, is she serious? Uh-oh. <laughs> Rip it open? Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yeah! You know, Nick? You're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah! There. That kid should- or that should make the kid happy. Things we do. Drain get rate is off. Oh, I know who did it! Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so guilt free of guilt. I think we find something in there. Looks like one of those uh, electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? Makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? No, they cycle because they don't want cars. There's a half finished backdrop at the stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Tokyo Castle. Shh. Maybe. Hush. The remains of the other day's lunch is scattered about. Everyone probably too shocked to clean up. There's T-Bone. One of the plates might have steak. Uh, 
I to the left. Right. Must be a storage room where they keep up equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep up with the studio? Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some school, the some cool theme snacks or popcorn at least. Wait, look, samurai soda. Nick, try this. Be my guest. Okay. Oh, too bad it's sold out. Window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Dressing room. No powers. It must be night. You start that have our own room. Or the dressing room. Walk. Hey, Nick. Let's go in. Maybe there'll be something to steal. Hey, we're not thieves. We did take that card key. We borrowed that. There's a difference. So. Dressing room. Great. Global Studios dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess they snuck in hook it while he was sleeping. Nick, if what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what that killer was planning on doing then. Wait. Regular suits and costumes. Those must be Mr. Powers' clothes. Locked. I guess he doesn't open the window that much. I'll see outside. Like someone was sleeping here, maybe Miss or maybe Powers did take a nap here, like he said. Mr. Powers is back. I wonder what's inside. Hey, super good tabloids. Wow, well, I'm kind of shocked. Oh, yeah, leave those alone. And found on Mars. I have to buy that issue. Wait. A bunch of snacks on the table. Maybe or they must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Wait, Nick. Now, be sex. They've passed their expiration dates. Uh, then do we need them? Uh, they're snacks. They are meant to be eaten. There's an array of cosmetics here, according to Maya. That wig was used in some TV show. Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, get with the picture. Look, explain to me how you can identify the show by seeing a wig. I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda. I always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is all nice and or still nice and spiky, just how I like it. place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want to disturbing evidence. Or me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee era? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in a lot here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in a t particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets and snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. He has a bit of a tr trouble catching him, though. Director. I heard something about or at the day of the trial. They said the director and producer were here on the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though? The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. Or the producer, really? Producers are real star here. We saved the studios from the brink of disaster. We kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. 
Booster, huh? So you work with the props, right? About the that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. Though you'd have to be pretty strong to use it as a weapon. So. Mr. Powers is the only person I can think of. Why is Mr. Powers the only? Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this anyway? Looks like she didn't know about the photo or the injury that morning. Uh, never mind. October 18th, detention center visitors. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky, to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't really... Or we can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes, uh. Fuck. You, uh, fanboys sing in the studios often? No, not that I can. that I know of. Security lady is pretty strict with them. In today's testimony, she, didn't she say that we were often hanging around? Those kids really, really love the steel samurai. They seek fast. When she's not looking, I guess. Director? Was the director present the morning run through? Yes, he was. He was directing how the steel samurai and evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. It has nothing to do with us. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh out of the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I see. <sighs> that is she on. You aren't hiding anything from else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Same. Regarding the murder weapon. Yes. It's heavy, that spear. It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. And that's the spear that broke off or something during the morning run through. Oh yes. I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away though. A duct tape, we heard. Regarding this photograph, yes. This really truly absolutely isn't you, right? Right. <laughs> I was sleeping in the dressing room with the, the whole time off. But who else could have worn it? Your costume was in the dressing room. Yes. I guess they stuck in and took it while I was sleeping. Ooh. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is, I wish I I think we should do. Do I? Huh? Why don't you be do what you just said? I gotta go talk about the director and producer. Oh, right. Eighteenth to do two entrance. This place is deserted. Crash. It 
Nick? What was that noise? Kind of like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious, suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. Not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Do we, don't we have the key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. And what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. Eight. Here to guard station. I can see the computers are. Uh, oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if I knew, or if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Yeah. Oh, I could Far away. the F? Who are you dudes? Huh? We... Wait, you first. Who are you? That's pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, Helen. How can you not know the great Sal Manella? Sal oh. Make the leet shows! The Steel Samurai, mine! RTFC, read the film Mr. Credits. Really? Yours? The, the Sal Manella? I'm so sorry, I just. You looked so sorry. No, no, quite alright. Really? It's fine, Frawful. <laughs> what is it? You know, um, closer inspection. Yeah! Hot! 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 How do you do a lot of cosplay? Or hey, do you do a lot of cosplay because that costume rocks? God. 
Boxers? What? Hey, are you drooling? Oh, hello. Buffer overrun. You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes. It's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai. Pink Princess. Warrior of Little to Old Tokyo. <laughs> Pink Princess? Why does it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't I have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Did you notice anything unusual in Day of the Murder? Oh, I know! You dudes are... Er... The security lady told me you about us, or told you about us. That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning, then the meeting yeah, from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Add a T bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucks always. I hate missing out on food. What does stars mean? No idea. Anyways, I was in the meeting from noon until four with the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated between 2 3 or somewhere around 2 30 p.m. Selling through the meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Ve Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills. All the way. Scary, though. <laughs> she brought the studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over the network and some sponsors and a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. <sighs> Were y all of them uh, with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They were all gray-haired geezers. <sighs> Sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. I try not to pay a bunch of attention to things that don't interest me. Why are you staring at me like that? This is a uh, WP, right? How do you know? Oh look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh right, the director would know about the injury. He was there. And... Yes, yeah, Hey, well, they're... Let's get these in, please. Hey, Nick! What now? Max, there's twice this much here before. I, uh, ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway, Raffle. Hmm. Biting her lip. Staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. Oh, hell. What are you doing? Aha! You again! <laughs> How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Or you certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away. They did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, with a, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. 
as soon as they saw where there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway. No, this whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or an insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. There are talking a lot for someone whose lips are sealed. Starting now. One, two, three. Her. Um, about the kid you saw yesterday. If I see him again, I'll am taking him down. Hey, Nick! Look at her eyes, she's serious. Director, about the director, the one that who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I think she's losing it. Feeling she's not on the... Just go back Yeah. Security guard station. I can see the computer that runs security cameras. Hey, no touching. He came in right through the drain. Hey, um, kitty -o. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you're- you- you are a kid! A rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. <clears throat> I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion. Heck, I think I'm being mocked. You got to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Atkins. Call me kitty -o again and I'll cut you down. Where you stand, evildoer? Steel Samurai. Are you a fan of Steel Samurai? How dare you even uh, or you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ah, you can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line he said in the, to, by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ah, easy. Like some fries with that. <laughs> Not bad, kitty -o. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> what happened? Say, so you heard about... Or heard anything about the incident the, the other day? Mm. You were here, weren't you? See anything? He... He... He always... The seal samurai always wins. Always! Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way I'm telling you, losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh? Something fell on the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why is it sitting there, I wonder? 
out on the table of the employee's area. The people read sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid today saying? He saw everything? Huh? Where's that old bin bag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick? That was her. Stop! Where was Sapper? Yep, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Catch! Uh oh, she dropped. Maya looks super happy. Hey, hey, Nick! What's her chance? Let's get check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to the trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Bye! Alright, I'm gonna pause here for a minute. I gotta run to the bathroom. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All of a sudden, I really get it. Go. Go on. Add.
All right, sorry about that. My stomach just suddenly was not very happy whatsoever. Oh, we're probably gonna gotta be calling it soon. I have to work tomorrow. Wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. Eager up. All of a sudden. Well, you go. F you first, Nick. Ah, uh, not that eager. Trailer. <clears throat> October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Eep! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers and, um, let's see. And who might you be? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I think they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much that costs. I can't believe they spent much money on those sets. Where they had the meeting, documents and clips scattered around. Where there could be food, just some paper cups and cups. Movie poster, Dynamic Samurai, starring Jack Hamp. Where we used to be a star. Summer. Oh, wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A little summer romance. Samurai on a horse. Their old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! This movie, ew, that movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singer Samurai Star. Singing Samurai Stars. What next? Ninja Ballet? Glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter. There's company. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. That was script. Okay, excuse me. Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, script? Kill Samurai episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you for a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Uh, fast. Uh... 
<laughs> okay, I guess I gotta go find this. Oh, you want me to try talking to her more before doing that? Um, we really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai and Vasquez uh, on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick! Telling us to go watch it TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director. Sal Manella, was it? What are exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Like, are all the people in the entertainment business this weird? Starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Or is there someplace else we have to check? It, yeah. Wait. Yes. We see Manella. Give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I don't like her. Try. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him. Script for episode. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script of, for episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? Must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh oh, my... Butt is pwned if I, if I don't find it. Ugh. Nick? It might be quicker just to look in all the places you likely have to have it. Then, I agree. Now we can do it. Do you mean play studio one? Back to the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director. Maya. Yeah. Take a look around the chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? He said he'd left it somewhere. Uh-huh! Found it, Nick! Script! Good work. Alright. Back. Two. Two. Trailer. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah! Script handed to Steve Pasqua. Steve. Um. Not going to talk to us. What? Reading. Ugh. Just hold. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are, anyway? Do you no, even know who we are? Ours is lawyers. Um, right. My suspect? It's just, well, no, but. You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting in here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. But those are the people in the, this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Possible? Why? Path was blocked. The path. Nope. 
Okay. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw the monkey on the way here, we're correct? Uh, Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? Oh, right, that one in the original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the very day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Peach, everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. The crane came out just after three to move the head. Called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait. What if the head fell after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Yeah. That's Mr. Monkey. When it, it wasn't broken, it announced the time. Ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the oaking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. <laughs> Nick! It stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked between 2.15 until after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Monkey's head data added to the report record. What do we do now, Nick? There isn't anyone to the side, WP, who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Look good. Head back to the office and plan our strategy. I feel like... That's kind of important. Uh, sure. So. Uh... Eight. October 18th, Brighton. Oh, law officer. <clears throat> now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's out at all about his water tight. We don't have even or even have any promising leads. They're looking pretty grim. It's a little early to give or for giving up, don't you think? Huh? We got one lead. But Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. I have trouble cuddling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess this means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean? Or what did you mean we had one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way I'm telling you, losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should get back or go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. Team Global Studios, main gate. <sighs> 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 What's wrong? Uh, 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 whip, whipper sapper. Been chasing this, this boy the whole time. When I get my hand, when I catch, catch him, I uh, sounds like she hasn't been had any luck catching him. Got a hostage now, whipper sapper. A hostage. What happened to the boy? I see him again, I'll, I'll huff. Lay him flat. Uh. Hey, what a violent old lady. 
Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Eh. I heard I don't feel so good. You okay? Before I go, I'd like to do a, to visit a place where P poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he What's this about a hostage? <sighs> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. Kind of hard to understand with her all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldback, I mean... No. I am catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade, huh? Sure. Um... Old bag. Uh, I'm sorry for I'm borrowing this just so you know. Uh, oh, okay. Just be sure to give it back. Yes. Well, okay. Uh, uh, that would be something that. Ladder, I've never actually used it. It's a firm believer in humankind we made to keep our both good. I'm gonna call it here because I really gotta head to bed, guys. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Alright, so until next time, this is Neetzel Stargazer. Thanks for everybody or everybody for coming out. I will try to stream tomorrow if I'm uh, doing all right. Um, so until next time, this is Neetzel Stargazer signing out. You guys have a good night. Sorry, I'm a little scattered. I'm realizing how late it is. <laughs> if you haven't already, please consider following. Um have a discord channel if you're interested in checking that out we will be continuing this series for a while uh so until next time this is Neetal Sarge signing out